Hey, what's up, guys? Carlos here with Bulls of Crypto. Today's review will be another market review request. Shout out to JJ for submitting the request. Fam, if you have any projects you want reviewed, drop them in the comments. More than happy to get that done for you guys. So let's get down to it. So uh, today's request is on front, Frontier. So um, at the moment, I do see them above RSI. They are playing at above the uh, 60 area at the moment. Again, that still indicates an uptrend. Uh, looking at price action, uh, if we want to look at the structure at the moment, we do have an inverted head and shoulders starting to play out here. Um, if this does happen and they close above this 3.5, then they will continue to the upside. Next area of interest that we have at the moment would be to take out these previous stops that were set uh, here in April and the ones that were set in March based off these pins. We have uh, bear stops located above these pins. So I do feel that this 4.5 area would be a key level. And then uh, from there, maybe even this five. Um, this wick that's happening over here uh, on February 19, I feel that this is just an anomaly on on, a, on the exchange, uh, possibly when they may have listed it, I'm not too sure what's going on there. So I'm not really paying too much attention to this um, wick that's happening over here. But at the moment, we do see RSI is in, the, in a bit of a uptrend. And uh, we want to see this starting to make uh, higher lows is exactly what's happening meaning the market is continuously pushing upwards. They're failing to break the low. They're making moves to the low, but failing to break. So here they created a low. They made a run. Uh, March 26 failed to hit. And then uh, beginning of April, they did another run. So three hits to the low and they failed to hit. Usually indicates a reversal. I like to call this a bit of a bear trap because once bears step in this, they are stuck. Those sell orders are placed and then bulls just take off running. So um, ideally, I'd love for them to stay trapped. This is going to continue moving to the upside in our eyes. We don't see this being a, uh, a bearish move. Um, it is a possibility that they drop. I mean, it is crypto. Anything can happen. But at the moment, we feel that this is going to continue to the upside if for any reason they fail to break this 3.5 area. Next area of interest would be the 3.25 and the three area. Uh, and the reason why we'd like to look at those numbers is based off quarter points. Again, uh, coming from my experience in the uh, Forex market, uh, quarter points are very helpful. They just like to trap at nice figure numbers uh, and it's easier for them to balance out the books so i do feel that this is going to continue to the upside we have had a bit of a push here with these candles here um, and then we should have a bit of a pullback and then uh, continue to the upside so let's see how this plays out again our area of interest at the moment just to make sure that these stops are taken out will be this five dollar area they may hit this maybe middle uh, to uh, ending of April. So we'll see how this plays out. So fam, if you have any projects you want reviewed, drop them in the comments. I'm more than happy to get that done for you guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, comment, tell a friend. When you do subscribe, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I'll help you out with this. There is a little bell that you have to click on in order to see the updates as soon as they drop. If you don't click that bell, you might miss the update and worse, you might miss the bull run. So don't miss the bull run, guys. Make sure to smash that subscribe and turn on that bell. All right, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.